So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to go through with you is, so far last class period, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about um, quadratic equation, or quadratic functions, right? And, yes. So we talked about quadratic functions. And quadratic functions um, gave us some certain values that we liked about them. So if you remember, we had a quadratic function. And quadratic functions, remember, came in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, I'm not going to write it down because you guys already have this in your notes. But remember, a, b, and c were real numbers, and a could not equal 0, right? Now, from this, we were able to learn a couple things. We were able to learn if we had a maximum or a minimum value, right, depending on what the value of a was. We were also able to uh, determine the vertex, right, because remember the vertex was the x value of the vertex was opposite of b divided by 2a. And then we could plug that value back into our function to find the output value, right? That's what we learned from quadratic functions last class period. So what we're going to learn today is now really about quadratic equations. So a quadratic equation is really a quadratic function. But now what we're going to do is we're going to set it equal to a value. And there's going to be a certain value that we're going to want to set our quadratic equations to. All right? And the famous value we're going to set it equal is to 0. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how are we going to find, um, or we're going to take our function, we're going to set it equal to 0. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you guys about this is when we find, remember, a, b, and c, still the same thing, are all real numbers where a cannot equal 0. Now, remember, when we want to find the values of x that make this true, right? If you guys go back to an equation like this, 3x equals um, let's do 6. right? When we have an equation, what do we do? We solve for x, right? And when we find x, we find the what? What was x? What do we call x equals 2? We call that a what? Solution, right? So here, do you guys know it? It's the same thing. But look at now it's going to be a little bit more difficult sometimes because now we have an x squared and an x. All right? So we're going to learn some ways to actually solve for this. All right, but for right now, let's just kind of talk about when we want to find the values of x that make this true, we call that, um, we call that our roots. Okay, So the roots are the values of x, um, or we just call them the solutions. So the roots are what we call the solutions of the quadratic equations. That means the values of x that make that equal to 0. Then there's another one which we like to call, which is the zeros, which in reality is really kind of the same thing. And the zeros are just going to be the value, um, the value of x that's going to make your quadratic function equal to 0. So it's really the same thing. Because if I want to figure out what my f of x when that's equal to 0, the values of x that make my quadratic function equal to 0 is what we call the zeros. So the roots, the zeros, the solutions, they're really kind of interchangeable on a lot of different levels how we're going to use them. So um, the zeros are the same thing, the, the values. So it's really kind of a different defini definition for one is a function and one is dealing with an equation. But really, it's the, really the basics of the same thing. We're trying to find the values of x that either make my quadratic equation equal to 0, true, or if I have it a function, we're going to set my f of x equal to 0, and then we're going to find those values, which we call the zeros. So it's pretty much the same thing. Just kind of depends on what we're going to start with. All right. Exactly. Very much, yes. So if I, wanted, if I say find the zeros, that means what you're going to do is you're going to take your function and change it to an equation. 
and then find the zeros. So really, finding the zeros is just changing it from a function to an equation and then finding the roots. All right? So um, that's just the basic definition of that. All right? So we'll end it on there.